Hello guys, James here. Today I'll be sharing with you my usage experience of CRDroid 8.4 for the POCO F1. This is based on Android 12 well and it comes with April security patch which is the latest as of now. Let's start off with the pros of this ROM. The first thing that I really like are the animations. With the introduction of Android 12 L, the animations have become a lot more jumpier and fluid. It, the whole UI feels a bit more livelier now and it all goes together really nicely. So yes, the UI is a big positive. The next thing are the customizations. It resides in this very underwhelming looking CRLoid settings section. But the actual number of settings, the actual number of customization on offer is actually overwhelming. You have tons and tons of options and the possibilities are limitless. And at the end of the list, there is a miscellaneous section where the unlimited Google Photos storage option resides. It's just a simple toggle. It works perfectly fine, I have used it. If you are intrigued about the changing wallpaper when I swipe across the home screen, no, it's not something that comes with default. It is called multi-picture live wallpaper and based on the comment that I left, you can see that it's been there for a long time. The biggest upgrade this ROM has gotten is the kernel. The perf mode kernel that they have introduced with this ROM is really good. So now gaming performance doesn't suck anymore. Previously when I installed this ROM, the gaming performance used to be so bad that I used to jump to a different kernel immediately and the charging speed has also gone up drastically. It does get a little hot and the gaming performance is not the best out of any ROMs but it has gotten usable as it is which is a major improvement. This ROM is also a weekly build so updates come regularly and that is one of the reasons I have not been able to make a solid review because things are changing so fast. Coming to the battery life, I am not able to get an accurate reading of the battery life because I have been using the phone in unusual patterns regularly. I have been using hotspot more than often and I am charging to 80% and letting it drain. When I was using the phone, I did not feel that the battery life was bad, it was quite adequate for the most part. And I think it even performs good. Now let's talk about the cons. Face unlock is present and accounted for but the actual speed of the face unlock is quite mediocre and it uses the regular RGB camera which is which is fine but it does not take advantage of the dedicated IR camera that this phone comes with so that's a bummer and the actual unlock animation that takes you to the home screen is also on the slower side multitasking is also a bit of a problem because sometimes if you load the third or fourth apps from the recent list it tends to reload the app if you have a lot of icons on the status bar the signal icons tend to go missing those are all fine but the major thing that caught my eye are the slower animations especially with the data toggle and the unlock animation. Yes, with the introduction of Android 12 well, animations have gotten a lot more smoother and the UI feels a lot livelier but the animations in some places like the ones that I've told does get to you when you are trying to get things done in a hurry so I would like to have a bit more faster animations. So now let me conclude my usage experience of this ROM. Have I enjoyed this ROM? Yes, absolutely because it was rock stable. I did not face any unnatural bugs or any random reboots or anything of that kind when I was using this ROM. The battery life felt good. The gaming performance is a massive step up from the previous CR Droid versions with the introduction of CR Mod kernel. And overall it has been a very pleasant experience for me. I did not feel the need to change this ROM. And overall, yes, I would recommend you guys to try out this ROM. So that has been it for my usage experience of CR Droid 8.4 for the POCO F1. If you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.